Um, I'm a sophomore. Um, I am originally from Pakistan and I've lived in Dubai and Saudi Arabia my whole life. So um, I'm running for PR because I think that being an international student myself, I think the, the team needs a international officer. I mean, I know there's like a couple more already, but um, I'm running <laughs> for PR because I think um, I'm a communications and journalism major. So I think that kind of gives me a heads up or like I already have that sort of interest and I guess skills, you could say. Um, in public relations, and uh, we all know we love Facebook, so. Um, also, uh, okay, so since um, Anne is actually my roommate, uh, she resigned and she asked me morning, Tuesday morning, she's like, oh, can you fill in for me because I, I, I can't do, um, I'm going to resign. So I said, okay, you know, why not? So I went to the meeting and I really liked it and I decided to officially run for PR. Um, it's been around three weeks now that I've been filling in, going to the meetings, doing um, PR, writing essay on newsletters, which I kind of changed around a little bit. Um, so basically filming for her, and then there's like shopping for Halloween stuff that I went to with Tammy. I stole morning for that. And I had to make, um, with uh, I think Mila helped and Sarah helped, posters, banners, and everything. Um, so I'm not new to the International Club because I've been here for a year and I helped out with the fashion show last year with photography and setup and this year hopefully making it even better. Uh, last year I also helped out in the International Dinner. I was actually part of the International Dinner opening act, which is when the models went out of the way, uh, which was a lot of fun, so everyone should attend that. Um, that's basically about me and I'm looking forward to helping out the EIC as an officer, not a member. So, you should look for me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Fahad. I'm from Saudi Arabia. And, you know, from my first time coming here to Seattle U, I wanted to contribute to the International Club. And, you know, the opportunity opened up to me. So, I wanted, you know, to contribute and have a huge part in the International Club. And I want to, like, um, present and, you know, I don't know, like, contribute my cultures and cuisine and every, everything that related to Saudi Arabia to the club. I don't know if it's common, but I want to, you know, make, you know, related to everyone and my plans, you know, I want to, I'm going to put much effort and time in this job. I know it's a, you know, a huge responsibility and I'm more of a responsible person. And I'm good at designing. I can do flyers and posters, and I'll like to you know, be part of the international dinner. And if it's possible, I can you know give ideas about events and stuff. And that's about it. Okay. Thank you. Um, so being an officer is, I'm sure you both realize, a really huge commitment. And so on top of uh, every week we have like a one hour officer meeting, but I want to know like how committed are you to the club? Like can you make those meetings and like, um, you know, what other commitments outside of the club do you currently have? Like jobs or things that we need to like, you know, be aware of? I don't have a job yet, <laughs> but I can definitely make it to meetings because they're on Tuesday at our class. Okay. Yes. On Tuesdays I finish at 12, 25. Awesome. Um, and then I might have missed it, but did you mention what your major was? Uh, civil engineering. Okay. Um, and so, what am I gonna? So, how does the Office of Public Relations, how do you foresee that, like, helping you, you know, past college graduation, like? Well, I'm a communications major. So I need to be in like post positions like this, roles like this, and I should get to the feel of being doing something that has to do with communication because it's like my first sort of leadership role. Uh, I think being in public relations is you know a huge responsibility, and I know as a civil engineering major, I you know in the future I'm really I'm supposed to lead a group, so I think it's a good opportunity mm -hmm. to have you know leadership opportunity. Anyone else have questions? I don't want to just like shot fire <laughs> questions. Yes, Sarah. Um, how respondent are you? Like, if I call you, can you be able to pick it up? Because, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> we 
it's the same problem we have. It's, it's getting hard, like, we are last minute times, how much energy can you bring at last minute? So like last situation, um, we don't have, for, for example, the Halloween party, we don't have plates. Do you have that energy to go run to the store and buy it and run back in time? Do you have that energy? I think that's fine. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the most important thing. And like, do you have that enough energy to make things happen? Well, like I said, sorry to cut you off. Um, actually, go first. <laughs> Remind me. Go yeah. first. Uh, uh, yes. I'm going to do that, yeah. Like, do, can you, do you have an example in your life, maybe, that you like show that you can pull through? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, um, okay. Anne asked me to join the meetings Tuesday morning, like 11:30. The meeting was at 1:30 or 12:30, and she was like, "Can you go? Like, I need to. I need to fill in." And I was like, "Okay, whatever. Like, I'll go." But so, I wasn't like, "Oh, I don't want to go. I don't really know anyone," because I literally didn't know any part of the to Annie. She doesn't count. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's something that, like, I'm glad I went because this opened up for me, like, an actual, you know, leadership leadership position, and I haven't done anything like before. So. I don't think I have, but I'm sure that I, I can do it. Any other questions? Yes. Um, being a PR officer, you have to be really creative. What's the most creative thing you've ever done? <laughs> okay, you can go. It's okay. I feel really rude right now. No, it's okay. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't have anything in mind now. Okay, well, I was an art, um, art was my sort of major in high school, because it was a British school, so it's different, and I won a bunch of awards and stuff, and I got, I got a national award for painting or something. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Well, but besides being just creative, though, you need to have the ability to create something that can cater to what exactly you need. So for example, if we're doing some kind of events that we want to seem friendly, you have to make your pictures, your flyers cater to that. And then also, like, PR position is kind of like, we, it's really important because if we don't have PR, it, nothing happens. Even, even if we have something, that's going on and we put it together, if we don't have the people that come to it, it doesn't work. So. Like the Halloween party. Yeah. So. Because, I mean, Anne dropped out when it was like two weeks before the event. But, so. We desperately needed the PR to like, get people there. Yeah. So, what did you, I, I wasn't here for it, the most part of your speech, I'm sorry. But do you have any examples in mind in a creative way or a new way of promoting? Like a potential event? Mm, yeah, for example, our fashion show. Besides would, our yeah. flyers, besides our roll down, besides putting on Facebook, can you think of any other way to promote it? We could dress up in costumes walk down campus and promote an event. If it's like, say, a cultural event, then you could wear that coach's costume. Because then people would automatically look at you like, hey, she's obviously not being normal here, promoting something. Or I, I meant, you know, go each floor and have like a meeting and promote the event. Which, like, do I have like a campaign? And I can go out to government and say, I don't mind. Um, so, we need to elect people. So just one last question for both of you. So you both mentioned like how you can help the club and how you want to do it. But my question is, um, what kinds of things do you want the club to give to you? Like, if that makes any sense. Like, what do you want to gain from the end of that position? Can I go? <laughs> I'm trying to think, sorry. Okay, I'll go. Um, definitely, if you're going to take a leadership role, then it obviously gives you leadership skills. Public speaking, like, this is like one of the first times I've missed in college. It's like, I was nervous for the first five seconds, but now it's like, cool. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I think. Being able to speak to other, like people you don't know or being able to stand up here in the first place and 
kind of taking on responsibilities, time management, stuff like that, you know, getting meaningful people come to your event. Like, it, it's all made, like, before, I guess for the freshman year, people usually sit in their rooms, they do nothing, they're like, oh, I hate college, you know, it's friendly, whatever. But then the second year, you're like, you need to get out. Which is what everyone says, for your first year, you need to get out of your room. So I think, for me, it would be to be outside all the time, just like doing things, instead of sitting in my room and going, let's play with Facebook or something. Sorry, question again? Um, what do you want the club to like give to you? Well, um, I think, well, I think, of course, the leadership skills, that's, you know, first thing, and second thing, you know, to get to know people mm -hmm. a lot, and, you know, to be more responsible, feeling, you know, at this certain age, when you get, you're given a responsibility, and, you know, take, you know, do it well. I think it's not like a huge success for a college student, and you know, it's not like reflects the future that you can be a successful person. That's okay. So that's Tuba and Pa. Thank you so much.